Hello again, football fans. Welcome to week 10 of the high school football season with Dan Spears. I'm Aaron Schoomaker. We got a lot of great games for you this week, coming off another week, last week of good ones. So we're going to skip all the fancy stuff this week. We're going to get right into the best part of the show, your favorite, my favorite, especially since I'm leading in the picks for the staff. Again. All right, enough. <laughs> and we'll get right into it. Yeah, we're back to the prop box, folks. Again, if you don't know the rules, we pick eight games here at the Star News. Uh, we put them on our website at starnewsvarsity.com. You can go in and pick the games for yourselves. Uh, we as a staff also pick. You get to see those picks every Friday morning. We do go through five of them here on the show. Uh, the three games that you'll have to go online to read for us are West Bladen at Whiteville, St. Paul's at East Columbus, that's for first place in the uh, Three Rivers, and Rose at Hoggard. Um, and that leads us to the five games that we will pick today. And we're going to start in the Tri-County Conference with Pender at Union. And this is potentially one of the more important games of the week for that conference. Union with just one loss on the year. They're threatening right there. Pender with just one loss on the year. The winner of this one puts himself solidly right behind Wallace Rose Hill. It's at Union, which is going to make it a little bit tougher. But I think Pender's schedule has been a little tougher. They've been tested a little bit more. And I think that's going to help them with this one. I like Pender to win that one. I think you're right here. Um, Union schedule. Union is 7-1, and one, and it looks really nice on paper. The problem is they've only played one team over 500. And that's, you know, they play Pender and Wallace Rose Hill and a pretty good Lakewood team in their last three games. We're going to see what Union's made up. I think as long as Pender can get over the fact that they lost a heartbreaker last week, I think they'll be fine. They've got the better team. I agree. Uh, second up on the schedule, uh, Topsail off uh, two very tough losses in the Central Conference to probably the two teams that are going to finish first and second in that league. Uh, they get Croatan at home. Uh, important game for the Pirates here. And really it's one that they need. Croatan's winless in the conference right now. Topsail needs to really get back to that win after playing those two tough games just to establish themselves. They're 2-2 two and two in the conference. Look for them to get to 3-2 and two this week. I really like them to win that one, and I'm going to go with Topsail. Yeah, I think that's the right pick as well. I'll, I'm, I'm going to pick Topsail as well in that game. Like I said, just, just getting back to somebody that's a little more their level. They're right. playing that game at home. Uh, they played really well against East Duplin two weeks ago. I think they got a little hungover last week. Right. Um, all right, on to the Waccamaw Conference. Two very entertaining games, that's for sure. Yes. Uh, uh, first up, uh, Battle of Brunswick County. We've got South at North. Just like any rivalry game, throw records out. North Brunswick has had kind of a rough go of it. They've had a couple tough losses. They really, you know, they've had that upset mindset going on. South Brunswick, though, they're coming off a big loss to South Columbus that took four days to finish. They're getting back to it. They're still at the top of that conference. And I really do. I like South Brunswick to win, even though it's in North Brunswick on the road. This is going to be high scoring and close. Yeah, I agree with you there. I think there's going to be a lot of points on the board here. Uh, pack an extra lunch or a couple extra dollars for the concession stand. Right. You're going to make multiple trips. Uh, but I do agree. I think it's going to be South at North. Um, next game, this one probably will decide the Waccamaw Conference yeah. title. Thriller game. This game is in Elizabethtown. That's undefeated South Columbus at once beaten East Blake. And that East Bladen loss was a really close one to Whiteville. They're at home. That's going to be a tough one, but South Columbus, to me, just, they're for real. Their defense has been playing well. Their running backs are for real. And even on the road, I like a running game to prevail in a tough, tight defensive game. So I'm going to take South Columbus. I don't know who I'm picking in this one yet. I really don't. Um, I South Columbus showed no hangover last week right. and dominated North Brunswick. That's right. a big sign that uh, Jake Fonville's got that team headed way in the right direction compared to last year. I think they've really put all that away. Um, East Bladen's won, I think, 23 in a row at home in the conference, however. Right. So, uh, immovable object versus unstoppable force here. We're going to see what happens. Um, and then finally, the uh, big game here in Wilmington on Friday night. Um, it's homecoming for New Hanover at Legion Stadium. Problem is they're playing a Laney team that is soaring right now. Absolutely, and offensively Laney just cannot be stopped. In the last three games, Mike Sheehan has thrown for over 400, over 200, and over 300 yards with four, three, and three touchdowns. Offensively, Laney just cannot be stopped right now. Even though it is at New Hanover, at Legion, it's going to be a more physical game than I think Laney's expecting, more than they're used to in the last few games at least. I'm going to go with Laney here. But I could go either way. I'm, I'm going to take Laney. I'll tell you what, as, as much as you know, Laney has had troubles over the years, they always, always play New Hanover well. And it doesn't matter if New Hanover's had the better team or if Laney's been close. I like Laney coming off of last week. Again, this is something that we've kind of talked about a couple times here. If Laney can avoid the hangover, if, if they can put last week's huge win in the rearview mirror in the right spot, I think they'll win this game. And I think they might win it by double digits. I really wow. think they're on a roll right now. I just, 
they, they're, they're doing everything right, and you just kind of stay out of the way when that's happening. And I know Chuck's doing a little bit of preview for that one, so check that one out. Be looking for that. Yep. For now, let's get into the rest of the games on the schedule for the week in the Mideastern. Um, Ashley at New Bern is the one game we didn't talk about. New Bern 7-0, looking to stay perfect there. We mentioned Rose at Hoggard. Uh, Laney at New Hanover. Over in the Waccamaw, we talked a little bit about South Columbus at East Bladen. Also, South Brunswick at North Brunswick. Uh, West Bladen at Whiteville. It's Intriguing record-wise. Yeah, it looks good record-wise. I think Whiteville's played the better schedule. Um, I think if they can just uh, knock off the rust, they kind of got dominated last week uh, by West Brunswick. So. Swansboro will be at East Duplin. East Duplin at the top of that division. Croatan at Topsil, we talked a little bit about. Over in the Three Rivers, St. Paul's at East Columbus. That's one of the games you can see our picks on the website. In the Tri-County Midway at James Keenan. Keenan's looking to really establish themselves and get to that 3-2. I think this is, the, this is a game for Keenan. If they can go out and dominate again, I really think that this sets them up nicely the rest of the way. Right. Uh, Pinder at Union, as we discussed. And finally, Trask at Wallace Rose Hill, as Wallace looks to maintain that number one in the AP in the state for the 1A and really just keep rolling on. I don't think, you know, as, as Trask got everybody back, is getting more healthy, but this is a game that just, they don't match up well right now. I agree with you. Well, be sure to check out the website. Like I said, uh, on Friday, it's all updated. I know I did it myself, so the standings are there, the schedule is there. All that hours, you need to check that out. Be sure to come back on Friday, check out all the games we get to. We're going to get to a bunch this week, have a bunch of highlights. For Dan, I'm Aaron. Check it out. <laughs>